Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shiosli, Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do or You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Guys, talking about the gist, I see the heart. White money, the Otamiemi master, have been trending for two things, actually. The first one is, um, he actually revealed, he said something about um, having a thing to do with married women. Yes. And he said he can never have a thing to do with um, a married woman, a woman who is even married, you know, because why? That even when he was at his lowest, he did not do it when he got offer from a married woman, when he was still staying under the bridge to survive, you know, with the tussle, the hustle and puzzle in Lagos, he did not succumb to that. So he's in a right now that he's actually seeing money. That he would do a thing like that. So he actually reviewed and said he would never have a thing to do with a married woman. A married woman of any kind. You know, he said as at that time the married woman has five kids. And wanted to run some parole with him. But he rejected it. So he has been trading for that. And some persons are like, now nah, mouth to now they use talk all of these things. Um, it's not like you people would actually say what you do. But I'm like, he said he cannot do it. What are you now? Why are you not trying to force word? Or why you know, if it's left for you to believe or not? But he said he cannot do it. Any which way, the second reason he is, he is training is a good one. Yeah, yeah, guys. Congratulations. He's pouring in for white money as his first cinema debut. Like he revealed. I'm like, wow. I already said it that all biggest kids are actors. Like you can literally count a housemate. That came out of Biggie Street that is not an actor. That has not acted at least a movie or maybe a skit or something. Any which way, he actually revealed this one as he said, The wait is finally over. I present to you all my very first cinema movie project titled Voltage. Which is set to premiere nationwide on the 5th of July. So kindly mark your calendar cause ego choke. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I saw a snippet of this movie and it's given. Like his character there, it's really giving. So when he revealed this one, congratulations is just pouring in from his fans as they're just telling him congratulations. They never saw this one coming from his end, you know, seeing baby boy acting. But he acted well. The role he played was nice. I can't wait for that one to come out. Congratulations, the way it's love funny. Kwenu, one, one knee, cashing out in the music industry, cashing out in the movie industry, and cashing out with them food, cashing out from all side. Nothing do you. Congratulations, Egocha. Egocha simply means white money, guys. Yeah, that's what it means. So congratulations to you, our baby boy, Egocha. You're doing well. Like, he is really doing well. No cap, guys. Meanwhile, also talking about doing well, Biggie's kids are doing well. Like, Biggie will be so proud of his kids. Um, Prince, the other night, launched his record label. Remember when he came for the Ulster season? You know, he also revealed about his record label, which he also signed the brother too. So the likes of, we have the likes of um, Avala, the likes of Beauty, Dorothy, of course, Alex. There is no how Prince will be doing a thing and Alex will not be there and Dorothy will not be there. It is so sweet to see that this their friendship is still you know, standard the test of time. Despite what the naysayers, the the draggers have been doing up to their name, you know, but yet you would always see um Prince has his time with Dorothy, has his time with Alex, like it's just it's just perfect and I love it. So he also revealed that his brother's um um uh, what's it called EP is out. 
as he said, my brother, I am Valentiano, debut EP is out now on all platform. Please go and stream, share and support. I wish you well, Prince. I wish your brother well. Meanwhile, guys, before we continue with this gist, there are more gist at the very end. And you know me, 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 me will always drop the last gist for the best. Like the last gist is always you know interesting so you have to stay to the very end but before we start talking about the gist at the end let's say this first off let's keep updated with daniela and the bro her going on with the ish she brought to the timeline the other day so the guy's sister the guy who is said to be the kidnapper the sister came out to say remember the other time i shared with you guys how the sister was ranting that the brother is not the brother is not this the brother is not that you know that daniela is this you know the way she was ranting that the brother she's has been the one taking care of the siblings and everything ever since the parents left them you know now the lady has come out to say this she said update guys so early today in the afternoon i asked my brother to go make a complaint at the police station which he did they called Daniela's Peter and she said she's not available to talk to you Monday. My brother left only for the police station to call him in this evening that he should come because her parents are at the station. I asked my brother to go with his lawyer, which he did. I have been trying to communicate with him to no avail, only for his friends to reach out to me, saying he has been detained, that the DPO meaning that this guy has been detained right now, that the DPO of police signed post came out and said they should detain him and left. Please, I don't have anyone, but I want to know on what grounds he was detained because this looks like they already made a decision before he came because they know somebody. Because they know people he reported her to be invited, questioned, and they didn't even do the needful and detain him. I can't breathe, God. So this girl, remember she said she's not in the country. You know, so people were like, why did you even ask your brother to go? And she said, if he didn't go, they would say he is guilty. No be Niger, my country. The same way the girl said she wasn't ready. Like they, they were telling her that she wouldn't have um told the brother to go. That's the, they have one, since Daniela said she's not ready, everything would have happened until Monday because they are not going to grant him bail till Monday. And they might even, you know, elongate it because of how the matter is. Now the girl is actually calling out and saying she does not have anyone, you know, she does not have anybody to call on, that she's the, um, she's just her and her siblings, and now they've detained this brother who is going to help her out as she's not in the country. You know, while all of this was going on, I said something about why did he not stop when Daniela wanted to step down of the car? Because that is where it gets suspicious. Kes asked this thing, so Kes said, Okay, I'm skipping the part because that was quite, you know. Why did your brother not stop the car when he was asked to stop? Daniela obviously felt unsafe for her to jump out of a moving vehicle. You get. And then somebody also said something. But if the car no slow down small, Daniela no go fit jump out easily, she go wound well, well. You know, so that one actually is another thing. Because the people were like, if the guy was speeding, Daniela would have actually injured a whole lot. You know, and so persons are like saying that that thing is that um if because she said she jumped out of the car and she just said she had little scratch and we all know that if a car is speeding and somebody jumped out, there is no how you'd be having just a little scratch. Now the question of why didn't the boy stop? Some person started asking Kes that if he is a good driver, he would know that you cannot stop anyhow. Because me, I'm trying to get to, that was the question I asked to answer. I said why did he not, why did he not stop okay let me read this firstly he is the driver he has the responsibility of stopping the car when and where he feels it's safe to do that let's not be stupid you are paying for the ride not driving the vehicle secondly there is nothing obvious about it you were not there and there is no evidence so now i don't know how this is playing out you know but the girl is busy calling out on peeps because she is not not, not in the country and no one to help she said i don't know who to talk to on here because i am not popular but i believe justice will prevail my brother has gone to report at the station please ask her to go and respond because they called her and she said she cannot talk traumatized right okay you know so the girl is out here i really hope they resolve this and i really hope um it's not really how we think it is because I don't get any more how this thingy is going on. But I really hope they really resolve this one and let this one just pass. But one thing I know with this, our country, is we need to be very careful. 
if you know get out, know they do pass yourself. That is all I can say. Any which ways, guys, let's continue. All right. Um, people have been gushing over this picture of Mercy AK and Maria Chike Benjamin. People are actually, you know, feeling the friendship and how they are still close, you know, ever since their um ever since um Mercy season. I think it was after the All Star season, they tried to cause a rift with maria and mercy we know we saw that which we all know how maria supported mercy but there are peeps who were trying to create this cord between the two but thank god they did not let that happen and i really hope maria and um, this lady was her name mercy ak and erika are also cool too because they tried to do that with erika anyways the longer shot of it is they've been hyping these two cuties yes they are so cute this picture i love it in particular so guys you remember the other time if you're a favorite viewer of my channel you will remember there was a time i just said you guys mercy went on live courtesy of shushu when she wanted to take some of her fans out on a dinner date guess what it has finally happened mercy did, took her girls out she even shared and said she went on a bit live and she went off and she said out with my girls so yeah congratulations to the mercy fans who were picked the lucky ones okay guys let's read this um this person says as big brother niger is about to begin i would like to continue my big brother niger journey with by a tribe you guys were a whole vibe the way you used to handle drugs now this is actually something for argument on the social space i'm gonna read this out while you tell me your take on this one let's tell ourselves the truth without alliance from many fan bases ex-housemates and celebrities mercy is more powerful than baye do you know how many bases that formed alliances with baye tribe against mercy fee nation co-sirens rebels titans delight shows his fans unusuals ex-housemates rooted for her Top celebrities were on her side. Mercy had only her fans and few money gangs. I'm going to stop here. So here is the argument. I feel like the only reason why Bayou could win that season was because of so many peeps was just on her side. And those many people do not want Mercy AK to win again. Guys, you accept this notion. Let me know what you think while I read this out also. Yo, Bayou Tribe, we voted like nobody's business. When they were saying Mercy was going to win because her friends, actresses were rooting behind her, the likes of Iniedo, yo, it was hell of a time to be a Bayou Tribe. But after all, it was all worth it. We came out victorious. And then this person said she aspired so fast. <laughs> Whether she aspires to first or not, the cocoa of the matter is she won the Oster season. If you want to talk about the winner of Oster season, whom are you going to mention? Aha, uh -huh. I'm sure you guessed that right. Any which ways, guys, on this note, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.